Hello and welcome back to the Elevate channel. Today we have a guide on the newest operator sense. We'll also have the timestamps in the description in case you need to go back for any information. First thing I would like to go over is the new assault rifle, the POF-9. It's an easy to handle assault rifle with 50 bullets and 35 damage a shot. The POF-9 has all the magnified scopes excluding the 3x and it even has an extended barrel. But you're gonna need to keep the vertical grip on, there is a lot of horizontal recoil in this weapon. The current setup that I'm running with the POF-9 is currently the 1.5x scope, the vertical grip, and the flash hider. Personally, I tried to use the 2.5 scope, but it didn't really work out. The biggest critique people have with the POF-9 is the horizontal recoil. The last half of the mag gets increasingly more violent as you're shooting. The other primary that Sense carries is the 417, which has 20 bullets and 69 damage per shot. In terms of secondary weapons, you have the GON 6, and you also have the SDP 9mm. The current setup that I run is the POF 9 and the GON 6. The reason why I don't use the pistol is because the reload speed on this gun is extremely fast. It's just like the other guns in the game. So with the GON 6, I can clear any util whenever I want to. Here is Sensor's gadget. This is the RU projector system. What this does is it creates a wall of smoke that blocks lines of sight. When you throw this gadget, the smoke starts where it lands. So as I throw it right over here, it will continue the roll and it will be active for 13 whole seconds. This is the approximate length of how it goes in one straight line. In terms of secondary gadgets, you can run two hard breach charges or you can have two claymores. I always run two hard breach charges because it saves my team from having to run a Hibana. In terms of viability as an operator, sense changes how you're going to execute onto the site. You can block off entire sections of the map. For example, here in Chalet, if you throw this disc right over here, this section is blocked off. As soon as you take piano, you can literally go into sight. You just have to worry about the rotate and whoever's sitting on half wall. Just like Valk, Sense has a ton of potential. The more creative you are with the spots, the more effective they are in game. Sense's weakness is being a 3 armor. That means their steps are incredibly loud. The gadget is also very loud, but that creates chaos within a sight which you can use to your advantage. So the ball itself can be destroyed by Jaeger. Your projector gets caught by a magnet. What happens is, it continues the actual same trajectory from when it lets off. It doesn't get destroyed. The projector can also be cut off by mute jammers. You can break a piece of the wall using an explosive. With Warden's glasses, you can still see sense through them. In addition, Maestro Bubbles can also see through the projectors. If you're playing glass, you can also see through the smoke, so you can see through the lines of sight and you can destroy people. With that being said, let's try sense in a real game. I was given a call that there was only one person in sight, so I decided to wall off my own plant while my team created chaos in sight. This clip, I used my wall and I pre-fired a books player which made him go into IQ's line of sight and I make an entry play into a... The strongest part about Sense is their ability to create openings to support round winning executes and plants. Whether it's blocking off lines of sight on the planter, blocking defenders out during a post plant, or isolating a pick on the site to execute. I do think Sense is very situational and thrives more on the bigger maps where you can really isolate players off. Here I make a tier list of what maps I would be playing Sense more on. If you have control of dirt and blue, what you can do is you can throw a wall straight through here, starting from here, and you can get K9 for a safe plant. You open a wall and you throw a wall on both sides, you can create yourself a little tunnel so you don't get shot at while you're going for default plant. If you want to go for a gym plant, you can actually cut off the entire wall in between the sides just by throwing a simple wall right over here. Usually whenever you're attacking bank basement, there would be a mirror right over here, there would be one person over here in the bomb chassis. Since the perfect counter to that, you can block the line of sight from the door all the way in the bomb chassis just by throwing one right across in the sight. Also, with two hard breach charges, you can get both the hatches to basement. If you're playing marble and you want to block off elevator and banana, you can just throw it on top of the double door. And it's going to completely block off elevator. I'm not even going to go over Oregon because you can do literally anything with sense on that map. I'm going to go straight to the theme park. If you're playing sense on theme, you can literally cut armory and throne in half and execute the side that you want. If you want to play armory, you just have to throw it right at the edge of this door frame and it's going to cut off the entire throne side. If you want to push the throne side, what you can do is you can break this piece of the wall and throw any util you want over it. Flashes, candelas, nades, and then you just have to split apart the site right in the middle. And you can go straight for throne. The 
easiest way to get a plan off an army is to block off both archives and office with one wall. All you gotta do is aim for the locker right here and it's gonna bounce all the way back and you're gonna be covered. Just because the rest of the maps aren't in my top 5 to play sense on doesn't mean that you shouldn't. The possibilities with sense are limitless but require lots of teamwork and that's a reality you have to face as a support. In 3 minutes you can expend 2 drones, 2 harvest chargers or claymores, and create 3 viper walls from Valorant, totaling 39 seconds of cutting off angles. If I were to give you guys one tip, let your imagination take over and practice your wall spots. Successfully planning with teammates running the glass, ying, or anyone to cover you is the most fun you'll have as a support. At the end of the day, Sense is a siren operator that attracts the most attention out of any non-shield operator in the game and capitalizing on that attention with creativity and team play brings a new type of fun to Rainbow Six Siege. Hey guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and comment Elevate down in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching and Elevate for giving me the opportunity to make this video. Goodbye.